Hi, I'm Meng Kate's One Private Chef and I'm joined by Lee from Riscalian Wines and we're going to be cooking a, a prawn and mussel linguine. Delicious. And I think we're going to be pairing that with the quiver from mm -hmm. Riscalian. And do you want to tell me a little bit about this wine, Lee? Sure, Megan. Thank you. It's a beautiful, fresh, zesty white wine blend. Um, lovely with seafood. Um, nice aromatics and just 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 ideal with a nice seafood pasta dish delicious and that's why i've chosen um, yeah. that one to it's a beautiful go. color thank you let's give it a taste that's one for you thanks very much one for me cheers cheers, cheers. <laughs> lovely you can smell oh that's, that's lovely that's, that's so fresh, fresh, fresh. And, mm. that's amazing very aromatic yeah, like you said and beautiful. yeah with the seafood okay so we we're going to get started with um with a with the seafood um sauce now we're just going to heat up some olive oil in a if you've got a, a deep saucepan or a wok okay and what would you like me to do and megan please can you dice some onion sure for me in the <laughs> meantime and we're going to saute that in some olive oil perfect and would you like this a fine dice um i think we can do a fairly fine dice we still want the little cube of onion to show through the seafood so we don't want it to disappear but yeah the fine cube finely cubed would be great um and i think it's also always important to remember when you're doing pasta the first sorry <laughs> I think it's always important to remember when you're doing pasta, the first thing you do is get on a big pot of water and get that up to a rapid rolling boil. Um, when it comes to pasta, your water should taste like the sea. Mm -hmm. So never be shy about how much salt you put into the water. You want to take, like literally, you know when you like get knocked out by a wave yes. <laughs> and you <laughs> taste that saltiness. salt and it comes through your nose? <laughs> yes, yes. That's the like level of salt that should be in, in pasta water. Um, because you want to give that flavor to the pasta, etc. So great. Okay, so I'm going to chop your onion, and then what do I need to do next? So, and um, we're also going to need to crush some garlic, please. Okay. And finally, uh, chop some chili. Mm -hmm. So I'm first going to saute the onions okay. on their own, um, so I don't want the garlic to get that burnt, that burnt <laughs> taste. Yeah. Okay. So thank you. Okay. Perfect. Right. Okay, so, so you're going to put your oil, yeah. your heat on again. Okay. Well, it's actually quite hot. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So I'll pop in Let's the onion for you. Yeah. So when, I, when it comes to herbaceous, herbaceous herbs, <laughs> um, I always like soft herbs. I always use the stalks. It's just where all the flavor is carried. So woody herbs like thyme and rosemary and things like that, no. And even sage, I wouldn't use. Mm -hmm. But parsley, coriander, um, coriander even mint sometimes. Yeah. I'll chop it up finely. Depends on what the use is. But yeah. Can That's I just fine. grab the um sure. the I'll pop it in the you. Oh, fine, thank you. To that, you want to pan with your onion. You want to move it away? You want to move it Yeah, it's important to do the kitchen 
towel because yeah. you don't want too much excess liquid. Otherwise, they start to bubble on the exactly. oil. You don't want that. So once your mussels have steamed for, for a minute or two, you can add your prawns together with your freshly squeezed lemon juice. Coming right up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Yeah. Pleasure. Have another sip of. Yeah, you just you, know. you, you can just have, relax. And... <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, so now I'm going to put the prawns in. Okay, those are looking good. Muscles off. If any of your muscles haven't opened, then you need to discard them. Yeah. Yeah. Then they're not open. They're open. not okay. So once your prawns have changed, are changing into a nice, nice pink. Yeah, just watch it because you don't want that to overcook. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. And, and uh, yeah, with the Rascalina quiver. Perfect. Delish.